the Florida canoers are ready to head out. Uh, it's about 7.30 in the morning. We're headed to Bruton this morning to meet up with everybody else. Uh, this is uh, definitely the most kayaks and canoes I've ever carried at one shot. Uh, looking forward to this trip. I think it's going to be great. Uh, it's going to be hot, but I think it's going to be great. Uh, we've got a great group of guys, a great group of kids, and uh, it's going to be exciting. Did you bring some houses? Oh yeah, but she did. All got into the put-in point. I say all of us. Most of us have gotten to the put-in point. And we are trying our best to get everything unloaded and get down this boat ramp. This boat ramp is about 100 yards long. Oh, took a fall. going to be interesting. We're just going to get in the kayaks and push off from up here. Let them ride it all the way down. We are underway. It took a lot to get all the boats in the water this morning. But it is going to be amazing. I think I'm about to dive right off that cliff into the water because it is going to be hot also. Here we go. Brian's fine old glory. Say hey Kay, Benton. It is hot. This is our first break area. And uh, man, we are going to soak up some water right here. It, we've been canoeing for about an hour and a half, and it has been very hot. I got somebody about to hit me in the back with a mud pie. <laughs> Boy, I'm going to get you. I will. You let me go put my phone up. <laughs> well, we're back on the river. Everybody's all... Bundled up. Yes, sir. Put your thing down. What thing? The thing in the back. The rudder? Yeah. Look at that. This is the first ever water gun war on our trip <laughs> RW soaking Chad <laughs> These three young men are doing a great job. We've got Caleb Alexander up there, first trip ever on his own kayak, and he is definitely holding his own. We've got Malachi paddling his little butt off up there, and then we got Liam right here. All three of them are toting their own weight this year. Uh, super proud of these young men, and uh, looking forward to many great years with them. We've made it to our first sandbar that we're camping on and it's the perfect the perfect sandbar for this group. Uh, at best count right now we've got 42 people with 36 boats. Uh, I'm gonna continue to try and count as the night gets going uh, to try and get a more accurate count but we've got 36 boats 
uh, one of the broadheads brought a flat bottom boat and towed all their stuff in and then Chris brought his flat bottom boat so they could bring a grill and and they are uh, they're cooking it up tonight uh, but this is a long sandbar so it allowed us to all sl stretch out uh, we've got some people that are in uh, in tents and some that are up in hammocks so they're spread out all over the place I'll walk you down through here <laughs> the 36 boats we've uh, we've got one of every brand that's ever been made We've even got a kiddie pool. <laughs> There's a bunch of hammocks up in the woods right there. This is the most of my most people the most boats we've ever had on one of these trips. Wake up to the old glory in the morning. This is a little bit different view. Let's see if we can get it all in. A lot of boats, a lot of people having a blast on the river. It's day two. We are uh, officially getting everybody up and rolling them out of bed. We've got bluebird skies this morning. It's going to be a good hot day. Uh, we're going to spend a lot of time in the water and um, we've got to make about 10 miles today though. We've got a bridge about five miles from here that's, that was the halfway point for the trip. So as long as we're there by yeah, you know, 11 or 12 o'clock today, we'll be on track. Uh, we're not there by lunchtime. We need to be humping it to get back on track. Kids are having a blast and getting things stirred up this morning. I do not know how. You see them in the background there. They are already soaking up some water. So it's going to be a good day. We are underway. Day number two in the books. 
Way up there in front, we've got Tyler and Colton. We've got Jacob right there. And I've got a passenger today. Uh, R.W. decided he wanted to ride with us. Uh, there's Rob coming up behind us. And uh, we're, we're getting day number day number two underway. R.W., are you having fun? Mm -hmm. Did you have fun in the water last night? Yeah. Yeah? Did you sleep good? Yeah. Yeah. Did you miss your mama? <laughs> you always miss your mama. All right, well, we got bluebird skies. Uh, matter of fact, there's not a cloud in the sky this morning, so we're we're going to ease on down the river and see where we can get to get out and play some more. Rob's <laughs> Rob's losing the battle right now. He ran out of water, and Jacob's still soaking him. <laughs> Do you have waterproof stuff? Do I what? I have waterproof stuff. Yeah, I have a lot of waterproof stuff. Oh, Glory's flying this morning. You see Oh, Glory up there? You see the flag? The American flag is called Old Glory. We finally caught up to Chris. Bryson's got the right idea. Oh, wow. It takes some getting used to because it's not like standing on land. Got a got a pretty interesting cliff coming up here. I'm gonna go over there and see how deep it is. Maybe we can jump off of it. I'm just joking, Jennifer. We're not going to jump off of it. Uh, leave it to a water, a water gun to bring out the kid and anybody. <laughs> Jacob standing up. And there's Bryson. Hey Brandon and Colton. Hey. All right, here's our halfway point. Uh, we're actually here about an hour and a half earlier than we expected, so we're we're in good shape. Looks like uh, looks like everybody's there. Underneath it, going to take a break. Uh, here's one of the coolest boats that I've ever seen. They were running the river last night, setting bush hooks. And uh, they must be taking tours on this on this river because it is an amazing boat. It's got all those lights and stuff on the front of it, and man, they lit up the river last night. Awesome, awesome boat. They were checking bush hooks last night. All right, we're gonna get up here and see if we can get wet. like storm clouds I guess we'll see give up and take a break on the middle of the trip. William said he had earned some frequent flyer miles and uh, Liam decided that he, it was nap time. He ate his cookies and Kool-Aid and went and took a nap. Uh, it looks like it's clouding up a little bit. We may be expecting some rain here in a few minutes. We're going to keep on traveling though. At least it's not blistering us with that sun anymore. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
this is campsite number two. Uh, we've got some hammock campers up in here. Then we have a bunch of people that are sleeping in tents. Uh, we're sleeping in tents tonight. Uh, here's Tyler's. Mine. And Jacob's. And of course you got the high fluting crew there with the, the easy up and the fan. Uh, but the, the tents go all the way down there and Chad and Rob have their set, stuff set up right down there. So we'll walk down there in a few minutes. We were just right down there and now we've walked the full length of the beach. Uh, Chad Purvis, Chad Rowell, uh, his guests Ben and Jack and Pasco are all down here. Uh, Mark and Rob and their kids have walked up a little trail right there and their hammocks are hanging right back over there. So we literally span from this side of the of the sandbar all the way across this joker, all the way down there and our other hammocks are hanging right down there. Um, everybody's trying to find a place to, to sleep and now everybody's trying to find a place to cool down. This was supposed to be our camping spot for tonight. Uh, William and Paul and the kids have got a little hammock site over there. But when I came over here with Tyler and Jacob, we killed a banana spider right there. There are three right there in a web. So we came over here and we said, hey, this will be a great spot. Tyler was going to hang from this tree over to that tree. Jacob was going to go from this tree over to that tree. And then I was going to go from this tree over to that tree. So I step over here and I kill three more banana spiders right there. Well then, I'm going to cut my way back down to the beach and I run right into this joker. And me and her had a very close relationship for about three and a half seconds. And that was the deciding point where I said, forget it, we're sleeping in our tents tonight. So, we have abandoned the hammocks and we are now in tents. It's the morning of the third day. Everybody survived last night. We ate good. Uh, Chris did a good job of, of keeping us all fed. Uh, it's already hot. This sun is out and blistering us. I mean, it's only 8.30 and it's, it's got to be 80 degrees, 85 degrees already. Uh, you can tell by the sweat <laughs> pouring off my face. It's doing all it can do to keep me, keep me cooled off. Uh, we do have bluebird skies again this morning. Uh, there was a lot of fog when we first got up. It was pretty cool looking. Uh, my phone was dead, so I didn't get a chance to catch any of that. But uh, we're trying to get things packed up and get on the river. So uh, we'll get back with you in a few minutes. This is a beautiful river. Kinnika River flows down and at the Florida line turns into a Scambia River, but this far north, uh, it just it just looks different. It is, it's just beautiful.
Well, we're here. Uh, Highway 41 bridge right here in Riverview, Alabama, just south of Bruton. Uh, gonna drag this, bring this canoe trip to an end. Uh, so far, the official count is uh, 44 people with 36 boats. Uh, definitely the biggest, biggest group of men and young boys that we've ever had on this trip, and it has been a blast. Um, I am. I have had a lot of fun, a lot of camaraderie ship. Uh, people that I hadn't seen in a lot of years are on this trip, so I'm uh, just proud to be here, proud to get another one under our belt. I appreciate y'all watching the video. Uh, let me know what you think about it. See you next time. God bless.